Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Okay, today we're bringing you another wide receiver. This time it's Marquez Callaway. We're going to just take a look at the um, Carolina Panthers game that he had. Uh, he finished the season with 21 catches, 213 yards. Had a couple good games in there when uh, MT went down. And uh, yeah, we'll just dive straight into this Panthers game. This is very, very simple concept right here. Running back comes out. He just sits in the zone right here. Just easy football. Okay, we're at the top of the screen up here. Nice little curl right here. Nothing major. Once again, zone coverage. We'll leave there in like a little cover two look. It's beautiful. Next play here, top of the screen, nice, another zone coverage, soft zone again from the Panthers, and when you're in zone, it's it's easy to beat, Jabriz was a, you know, an easy zone beater, once again, you got Kamara flaring out, so he has to respect that, boom, you get right underneath it, that's a good job there. This won't be a kill Traquan segment, but once again, Traquan's at the bottom. Has to be better of not letting this guy get hands on you. Look at this. Just takes him all out his route right there. All right, Kellaway's at the bottom here. Another zone coverage. Just a little in route, dig route, whatever you want to call it. Fairly simple. Panthers are doing a very bad job of actually, you know, getting him off his route. He's getting into his route very easily, untouched. And that's just a big window right there. Way too easy for Breeze. Way too easy for Callaway. But you'll take it. A slot right here for Callaway. Not 100% sure what happened here. Um... Maybe I'll put this on Breeze, but it's a nice route by Callaway. He has a little stutter in here. Uh, sells the deep like he's going to go deep, which pauses this safety. See right here, this stutter. DB wants to come up, but now he's scared, so he has to stay there. Boom, and he breaks it off. He's open. Not sure why Breeze didn't throw this ball. But right here, boom. This is a nice pause. Now he doesn't know what he's going to do. He's going to accelerate, run past you. He can run anything from there. And Callaway, boom, decides to break it off right here. I don't know if Priest is looking here or what, but, I mean, that's open. That's as open as it's going to get. And now it's right here. It's a scramble drill. You know, Priest isn't about to scramble. Very next play, Drew Brees comes right back to him. He's in the slot once again. This is beautiful. Man, this is beautiful football. Once again, Callaway does a nice job of going around this guy. Do not let him get hands on you. Get small at the top right here. And then watch him beat the drums at the top. Get in and out of his break. Come back to the ball. Psh, makes him miss. Gets up field. That's just good football. That's actually great football right there. All right, let's watch this. Callaway's at the bottom of the screen here. 
one on one against Dante Jackson. It's a pretty good route. Got held, so we got the first down. It's a third down play. It's a good burst off the ball. Stepping on his toes right here. I mean, Dante just holding the hell out of him. He's not holding him. He's coming out that break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Much more easier. You know. So that's a pretty good right on third down. Able to draw the flag. Pick up the first down. These kids can't even tackle Kamara up here. Almost got it himself. <laughs> like just one on five, one on six over there. That's crazy. Okay, that would wrap up Marquez Callaway. Uh, quick little film session against the Panthers. He didn't really do anything, you know, crazy, spectacular, but it was a pretty solid game for him. Um, strengths I found, one strength that I didn't show on film was that he was a decent run blocker, uh, blocked decently against the Panthers. Uh, like I said, not not enough on film for me to, you know, gauge that completely, but I was I was uh, happy with what I saw with that. Uh, zone beater, him and MT, both are going to be zone beaters, so that's, I mean, that's going to be good for the Saints. You can have two guys, you know, that zone beaters, and Traquan Smith will be more of a stretch the field guy. But Callaway can also stretch the field. So, I mean, that will be a nice, you know, mixture of receivers we have there. One thing I do want to see going into the season is I hope we start Callaway off as wide receiver too. Obviously, they need to battle for it, things like that. But I think that we've seen three years of Traquan, and I think it's time for, you know, some new blood to get out there. And I think Callaway – you know, he kind of earned it last year. I think he had a better year than Traquan, even though Traquan played more. I think Callaway took, you know, more advantage of his opportunities when given. And uh, it's going to look different with Taysom or Jameis behind, you know, center and things like that. So it'll be a little different on that behalf. So I think both of them will be have better years. Both of them are more suited for Jameis or Taysom than they were for Breeze. Uh, obviously no sight at Breeze because, I mean, Hall of Famer, first ballot. Best player in history. All of that good stuff. Don't need to talk about Breeze, but they're both are going to be more suited for a guy that can stress the, you know, stress the ball downfield and things like that. So I'm interested to see, you know, how it plays out. But I do want to see Callaway start off the year as wide receiver too, I think. I think it's time for that. I mean, also, I mean, I appreciate y'all for tuning in also. Uh, anybody y'all want to see, I do have two videos coming up. It's going to be Marcus Williams at safety. Some of the things, you know, I feel some mixed feelings about Marcus Williams. I'll say that. I have some mixed mixed feelings because, you know, some days he looks like all pro safety and then some days it's like, come on, man. Then uh, I'm also going to do, I got a suggestion on Marshawn Lattimore versus Mike Evans, which I think would be a great video. I'll go back to the start. Most of y'all know the start. Jameis Winston honestly started the beef, which is hilarious in hindsight. So I'll go back and we'll, we'll kind of go over that. Um. Uh, like I said, man, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Really appreciate it, man. If you can like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. You know, um, like I said, I really appreciate y'all appreciate for watching these videos, man. It's something I like doing, something I love doing, honestly. And uh, I'm out.